Hi, my name is Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something really interesting, which is going over to Walmart and getting all the basics that you need when your child is coming back and forth between households. Of course, your child is probably going to have some of their favorites that they bring back and forth, but our goal as parents is to make sure that we have all the essentials at our house, even if you only have weekend parenting time, there is certain certain set of essentials that you should have on hand for your child. We went to Walmart, we've got a try on haul, we have got footage of things in store, and we also have purchased everything on the list, including some bonus items, for under $125, and yes, that includes sales tax. So stay tuned. to go inside and see what we can find. <laughs> One thing I love about shopping here is that I can get a drink for 50 cents out of the vending machine. I'm gonna get a bottled water. So the Pepsi machine is out of bottled water and the uh, the other machines here at Walmart only do half bottles for 50 cents, so I'm going to pass. So the first thing we need to be not tempted with are all the claw things. Thank goodness none of the kids are there today. So I'm super excited because we came on the right day. There's all sorts of kids clearance. So let's see what we can find. We're gonna start off in the boys section. The first basics item you will need are shirts. All right, so this is an XL. It's $3.47. There's lots of colors. There's white, gray, teal. Blue, red, orange, yeah, all kinds of choices. All right, so I grabbed two different shirts here because Walmart has regular sizing and they also have Husky sizing. And so I grabbed this in an XL and this is the regular, or no, I'm sorry, this is the Husky. And you can see that because it says Husky and it's about, I don't know, maybe an inch or two wider. It's the same length, but it's just wider in the body just by a little bit so it's not so much of a slim fit. Wonder Nation also has just basic long sleeve t-shirts and they are $4.97. These are the colors that they come in right now. If you need them, there are also some of the school uniform approved shirts and they are $5.97, so an extra dollar. For $9.97, the Wonder Nation brand has several colors of long sleeve hooded shirts. Okay, there's a bunch of Justice League stuff here right now for boys. It's $7.87 and they've got Batman. A bunch of Minecraft stuff. Some Star Wars stuff. And some Avengers stuff. So there's this. This. These are some interesting hangers. They're like really wide. There's another Minecraft shirt that's really cute. These don't come in Husky, so they're just all regular size t-shirts from extra small up through XL. All right, we've got some more clearance options. A dollar, a dollar for this. And they have some Russell ones that would go with the sweatpants if you wanted just some t-shirts for around the house. Again, basics for a dollar. All right, there's also some cute flannels and dress shirts 
for $10.42 if you wanted to pick those up. If you need a jacket, there are, I just grabbed these two basics. Again, there's a Russell jacket and the other brand is the athletic brand. $12.86 versus $16.88. They're both nice jackets. Obviously, this one's a little bit better quality. It's kind of got, it's not as faded. They're both thick. They're both decent jackets, especially if it's going to be something that they're not wearing every single day. If your kid prefers a hoodie, the Russell brand ones are $14.88, so you could grab hoodies. There's several different colors. There's there's red, there's blue, there's gray, and they match some of the pants. Walmart has several other jacket options and different price points. I'm showing them to you here. So if you want to get a thicker winter coat, those are already out, and here's the price points. On our list of basics, we definitely need to get some pants. So a good pair of comfortable pants. There are two different brands that you can choose from. There's one brand that looks like this. It's the athletic brand and it's $7.84. If you wanted to get the Russell brand, it's a little bit more expensive. So it's $11.76. I think both of them look like they're decent quality. So if you're trying to keep that budget in check, you may want to go with the cheaper pant. My kids do not wear jeans. I don't know why. They just never have. They think they're uncomfortable. But if you need a good pair of jeans in different washes, there's the Wrangler brand for $13.94. They also have some cute uh, khaki and cargo pants. For $15.94, there are some other jean options. Let's take a look at the Wonder Nation pants. There's some different colors of jeans and maybe they're a little bit cooler if you need a cool factor but there's some different washes there and they're a little bit more expensive than the Wranglers. Another great money saving option is to go ahead and get an outfit. Then it has the pants and a zip up jacket. Your kid does not have to wear those together and it's a good price when you consider each piece. So for a total of $14.88, there's black, gray, maroon, and All right, so the next basic that we need to look for are socks. So let's take a look here. There's different kinds of socks. There's low cut ones, and then there's the taller ones. So you need to figure out which one your child likes to wear the most and pick those out. So we can get 12 of the low cut socks or the no-shows for $7.97, or for 50 cents more, we can get 10 of the just solid black Hanes no-shows. All right, again, do not forget to look for these bonus packs because you can get an extra three pair of the black Hanes no-show socks for the same price. Russell has some of the cute pattern socks for $5.47. My 11 year old already wears men's sized shoes and so I had to run over to the men's department and I got him 12 pair of no-show socks for $11.97. We have come over to the edge of the boys department and they have underwear. I wanted to bring to your attention that there's a difference between these two packs because some of the packs have an extra three pair of underwear in there. So if you can find those, it's a good value, maybe, but we don't know how much they are. So there's a Fruit of the Loom brand right now. And they also had a Hanes brand. So I'm gonna take them over to the price checker and we're gonna see how much they are. If your child likes character underwear, you can see there's a wide range of prices and different 
characters to choose from, so I will just scan down and let you take a look at those. I've looked through all of these, and I think the best deal is the $10.46 for eight of the boxer briefs. But again, you could definitely get some of the character packs if you think that your kid would love those. Or if they wear the woven boxers, the woven boxers are $9.74 for a five pack. Do not forget to look through the clearance bins because there are several pairs of socks and underwear and they are all between one and three dollars, including these pajama pants, which are five dollars. Do not forget the pajamas. There are several different types. The button up the front kind, some of the hotter ones, Most of these are two-piece sets and they are under $15. For $15.48, these can double as Halloween costumes. <laughs> How about Minecraft? The next basic that you're going to want to have is a toothbrush. There are several different options and they range anywhere from a dollar up to four dollars and ninety seven cents. Both of these packs are a great choice because you get multiple toothbrushes for a dollar. So on the left you'll see the adult size toothbrushes You'll have a choice between soft and a more firm bristle. I usually choose soft for my kids. And then there are some kitty size ones that come in a five fun pack for a dollar. In addition to the basic toothbrushes, you also have a couple of splurge options. And because I really want to encourage Jackson to brush his teeth, I am going to pick up the spin brush in the Super Mario version. Dentists recommend that you replace your child's toothbrush every three months or more frequently if they are sick or if they brush really hard and you notice that the bristles are kind of all mangled and matted down. There are lots of different choices for toothpaste. There are kids' toothpastes. There are character toothpastes. There are all natural toothpastes. And they range in price from a buck all the way up to six or seven dollars. I've also shown you some of the other spin brush options. Of course, another budget option is to allow your child to just share your adult toothpaste. Another splurge item that some parents like to get is a pre-rinse or some sort of mouthwash. The next basic is dental floss. If your kids are like mine, they hate flossing. And so I have given you some choices here that have the Plackers or the Dentec Fun Flossers. They range in price from about $2.28 up to almost $3. I usually go with the grape flavored ones because the kids like them more. And I like the packs that have the zip top because those things love to fall out. And I certainly don't want my kids putting them in their mouth if they have fallen out of the bag. Suave is normally the cheapest liquid body soap that you can find. And it starts at about a dollar. 
For a budget option, you can go with bar soap. You need to decide if that is something that will get kind of all over the tub, but the liquid body soap does that too. Make sure if you have younger kids that you are going for a tear-free option because they tend to open their eyes in the bath or in the shower and you do not want them to sting their eyes. Lord, let's hope no one needs any mix. There are all kinds of fun shampoo options for different budgets. Again, just make sure they are tear free if your child tends to open their eyes in the shower. If you have older children, one of the items that you definitely want on your basics list is deodorant. There are several different types of deodorant at many price points. Some of them are spray deodorants, solid deodorants, roll-on deodorants, natural deodorants. So you need to decide which one you would like and be sure to pick that up for your child. If you have teen or tween boys, a lot of them like to buy the Axe Body Spray, which could be a bonus purchase, or they really love those sets of matching deodorant slash body spray slash body wash. Walmart has many different brushes, combs, picks, and hair accessories to choose from, so don't forget to pick up at least a basic comb or brush for your household. The next few items are not complete basics, but they may be some things you want to pick up for your child, and I have included them in our Walmart haul. So the first one is hand soap and hand sanitizer. I know my kids don't always wash their hands long enough or with hot enough water so sometimes if their hands have been particularly dirty i like for them to do a pump of hand sanitizer the next item is a razor along with some shaving cream if you have a daughter that shaves her legs or a son that is old enough to shave his face Another purchase that you may want to consider is a hair dryer. If you have a child that dries their hair and you don't have a hair dryer, make sure that you pick one of those up. You can get them for as low as $12.88. We have brought the Walmart haul home. La -la. And now Jackson is going to open up some of the stuff and try it on. So get to hauling. I was like, what the, uh, uh, I think the tag is stuck. All right, so item number one is a new red shirt. I actually don't have any red shirts. Okay. Like one, two. Well, you do now. I almost sounds like one little bag. Why are all the, why are all the tags always stuck? Oh, okay, there's two sides. Okay, so there's this side and this side. I, so, so here, I guess here's Bowser. What? Okay, I'm just saying, I've never seen him a little fireball. Okay, here's Toad, Goomba Mario, with the, with the, like, a little pop. Next item. This is like multiple stuff connected in one. Yeah, one that's a two piece item, so oh. you can go ahead and pull that out. That's a pair of pajamas. It's a, it's a pair of Minecraft pajamas. Next. I think that's last for the bag. I, 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 I guess it's just a plain blue shirt. Just a plain basic cotton blue shirt. Here's the next item. I'm gonna see if you like this. I was unsure. Okay. I, I, uh, it's pretty heavy. So that is a pajama, a Fortnite pajama, but 
it can double as a Halloween costume. What are you gonna be for Halloween this year? Don't know. Well, you might be this. So let's take a look and see how it fits. If you don't like it, we can return it because it's kind of hot to sleep in. There's some more basics clothes in there, just kind of basic items. And I'll let you try those on. So there's just a plain basic polo shirt. Just colored shirt. Good job. Oh wow. I, I. So that is a jacket and pant suit. You do not have to wear them together, but I thought you might need a jacket for fall and you can wear those sweatpants with some of the basic t-shirts that I bought. What else is in that bag? A basic tea. We have two more clothing basics that I'm going to let you take out of the bag. So socks. Okay. It says, so this is fruit of the loom. I actually have no idea what that is. Khakis. It's some cargo khakis. I thought you could wear those on the cruise. So we'll try them on and see how they fit and if you like them. Okay. Well, Jackson is trying on some of that, some of those basics. I thought I would show you what else I got. So shampoo, I got the Suave Basics. It also has 0% parabens, so that's really good. I got him some just solid, basic, plain, Arid XX deodorant. Additionally, because I know he won't want to show these, I got him some more Basics underwear. We have a lot of these at our house and they wash really well. I also picked up the flossers that I told you about, and what I really liked about that is, and I'm going to go and tear this off, that instead of having the squeeze close top, this has, of course it's all janky now, but it has a zip tie so that these don't fall out and you don't have to like squeeze them. Some basics kids cavity protection toothpaste. I also got some of this mango and coconut water liquid hand soap. It smells really good. He also got, oh, I should have let him open this. Maybe I will let him open this when he comes out to try on his next outfit. Dial soap, this was the budget, definitely the budget find. Two bars of soap for really cheap. I'm going to put up a picture of the receipt at the end of the video so that you can see how much I spent on all of these items. Finally, I got some hand sanitizer because sometimes I know kids aren't the best at washing their hands with hot water. Sometimes they'll wash them with cold water or they won't use a lot of soap and stuff like that. So I always like to tell them, hey, if you feel like your hands are extra dirty, just use a pimp full of this. And then finally, I got these razors. Those are for older kids. If you have an older daughter that shaves her legs or if you have a son that needs to shave his face. Let's go back and see what Jackson is trying on with his basics. Okay, you have on the Wrangler cargo pants and the red shirt in a size extra large. How do the pants feel? They feel pretty great. What I really like about these pants is that they are adjustable in the waist. And so if you have a kid that is a little thinner, then you can pull that interior tab and make the pants a little bit tighter. I grabbed this teal basic t-shirt and it also goes really well with the cargo pants. Okay, next up was that dollar polo. I actually got that in a size large instead of an XL just because they didn't have any left in that color. And I think it fits just perfect. All right, so Jackson said he thought that the shirt was a little babyish, so that'll be going back. And the pants are just a hair too short. These are the large, the 1012s. The 14, 16s looked huge. It could be that um, he's in between sizes for that. I'll have him go ahead and put the jacket on so that you can see how it looks together, but that will have to go back and be exchanged or returned. Here is the jacket, and I think I see the problem because 
the jacket was actually put back incorrectly and it's in a size extra large. So go ahead and show the length, Jackson. The, the length in the arms is maybe just a smidge big, but probably okay by the time we get to November when it's cool enough to be wearing a jacket. That's a 1416, which is an XL in the basics tee. One of the things I don't love about this shirt is that the neck seems to be kind of a little bit wider than most necks. Can you smell, Jackson? Um, <laughs> so he really loved all the basic shirts, but this one is a little bit big and maybe not exactly what we'd hoped for. One other thing I failed to mention when he tried on the sweatpants was that they actually do have pockets. Jackson, can you show the pockets? Well, yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, they do have pockets, so thank you. We have one more thing to try on, which is the real pajamas, not the pajamas slash Halloween outfit. So what do you think about those? They're nice, like soft, but they're also silky. It's, it's kind of weird. Okay. I like them. So those are in the XL. Keeper or no keeper? I would say they're a keeper. I've got something else in that bag for you that I picked up at Walmart. So go ahead. A toothbrush. So it is a Mario toothbrush. Do you like that? Um, I do. I, I want to put it a bit wide. Just well, it has a battery in it because it's a spin brush. So I'm a, so a mechanical toothbrush. Kind of, yeah. And the grand finale is the Fortnite pajamas. Congratulations if you made it all the way through to the end of this video. As you can see, there is a list of every single thing that we purchased, including the total with sales tax, if you'd like to go back and reference the exact price of each item that we showed you during the try-on haul. This video was not sponsored. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please click on the notification bell below and hit subscribe so that you will be notified when we make more videos like these.